Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to calibrate your motion controller. That's right, this video comes by request by one of our viewers slash subscribers. We actually covered it on the live stream and it was basically asked if we can make a dedicated video. Well, without any further ado, we got you covered. Let's get started. So you're gonna have your motion controller on and you're gonna make sure that your drone is on. So we'll just uh, put the drone over here so that it's connected. And then now what we're gonna do is, as you can see here, we make sure it's charged. Uh, Cause if you have one bar left, it's, you know, it's possible it could die out in the middle of things. So now what we're going to do is get our goggles. You can have your goggles on or off at, the, at this time. Uh, you're doing it and I just need to find the buttons. Where are my buttons? They're right here on top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and navigate to settings, okay? And then go to control, motion controller, right? And then we're gonna click RC calibration. So first we're gonna do the compass. You gotta be ready, you wanna do it fast um, so that it, otherwise it kinda like spits you out. So we'll start with the compass calibration. Okay, so we'll click it. Um, actually, we have to select it first. There you go. And when you click start, make sure the remote is in the position and start see so we're going to rotate it like this see and you got a beep and then you're going to rotate it i believe that way see and then we're done uh and then now after we select done we're going to do imu calibration uh, as you can see we're going to press start have it facing the direction and then now just lay it flat like that like it says and then keep motion controller powered on Okay, make sure it's on. That's why you wanna make sure you have a bar because sometimes it takes forever to do um, some of these sequences. Then lay it like that, see? And wait for it. Any minute, any day. There we go. And then we're gonna turn it upside down like this, faced in the direction of the prompt. We're at number three. And keep motion controller powered on, see? And then we're gonna face it this way, okay? As you can see, we'll leave it like that. And 98%, we're almost there at number four. Any minute, up oh, there, and then we're gonna flip it over like that in its position. And wait for it. Hopefully it holds, yep, and we did it. Oh, it says restarting, just leave it the way it is until it actually, you know, uh, gives you the prompt that says, hey, you see, we're done. So now we can pick it up again. So it's really easy, right? And now we're going to go um, accelerator and joystick calibration. This one's pretty easy. We're going to hold it. Um, release the accelerator and then start the calibration. Okay, so the accelerator is not pressed, as you can see. And see? And now we're just going to go here. And if you accelerate it, see, we go this way. There's no back but we can accelerate this way. And then you can um, go right 100%, go down 100%, go this way 100%, and then go up 100%. And then um, there's no middle button, but just try it again. See, and done, voila. So next we're gonna calibrate the um, goggles here. Okay, make sure you just put this little thingy in here so that you can protect it as you put it in. You don't wanna um, damage the uh, lenses so uh, cause we're gonna be doing like this and like that. All right, so without any further ado, let's do that one. And then, whoops, we're gonna go here, um, go into settings, click on safety, and then scroll down, see where it says compass calibration. Uh, no, sorry, goggles um, compass calibration. Okay, normal, which is fine. We'll just hit start and just tilt it up and down like that. See, we we're just doing that. Now we're just gonna do this. See, and then voila. And now we're done. If we click here on the done, it'll just throw us into the backspace. And this will basically help you when flying, if you've ever flown. Sometimes when it's windy, the drone will do this. It's always going to do that. But sometimes it's not windy, it's beautiful out, feels dry as a desert, and the drone's still shifting this way. You're like, what do you do? This calibration will help you there, um, you know, with the motion controller. So, cause sometimes you're like, come on, what's going on? And, you know, keep it straight. Do this and you'll be good to go for the next um, few or many flights. And then when it starts to do that again, you'll know exactly what to do. And that's pretty much it. Kind of neat, huh? Gotta love it. 
Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.